Welcome to Conglomerate 451, a new Let's Play. This game was developed by Runeheads and published by Fulcrum Publishing in February 2020. It is a dungeon crawler set in, I think, cyberpunk world. And that's pretty much I know about this game. I have not played it, I have just um, prepared to see if it's actually loading up in uh, an OBS. Let me see if it's still capturing. It is capturing, very good. Uh, so as, as I said, I have a total of no uh, knowledge of it, so let's start. I like the, the amount of colors here. I only went as far as the settings itself for the game. Head bobbing, we'll keep it that for, for yes. Uh, as a yes for now, fast combat, I have no idea what that means and I'll keep it as, as no. If the combat becomes too tedious, as similar to it was in Fall of the Dungeon Guardians, then I might switch to yes, whatever that will mean. Glitch effect. Yeah? Confirm selling. Uh, for now, we'll, we can keep that. There are multiple languages. My uh, native is, of course, not here. Surprise, surprise. I need to see um, the majority of gamers from which country they uh, they are, because I'm really surprised that Polish is not uh, available in many games. Uh, controls? Yeah, we... Look at that, we can redefine all of the controls. Plus, what's important, you can play this game with a game controller. Next agent, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start. Now we can select a save slot, perfect. Create. New game, select the game mode. Game mode, endless story mode. Story mode. This game mode has a plot, subplots, and a story with a start and an end. You have 75 weeks to complete your mission, then the game will end. So pretty much if I fail to complete this playthrough because of, uh, of time lim limitations, I will just ditch the, uh, the playthrough. Endless. This game mode has no end. You can keep playing as much as you want. Also, when you defeat all corporation bosses, the game will keep generating content. Okay, sticking with story mode. Difficulty. Normal mode. Balanced experience. The enemies are stronger than in easy mode, but you will collect more resources during missions. Recommended for exper experienced players. I'm an experienced, experienced dungeon crawler. I'm not experienced with this game. The enemies are less strong in easy mode, but you gain fewer resources and rewards during missions. Recommended for new players and hard mode. Enemies are stronger and missions take more time to complete than in normal mode. Recommended, recommended for hardcore players. Astro does something for you, probably. But I'm going with normal. Year 2099, the city of Conglomerate is at war. Sector 451 has become the central battlefield. Corrupted corporations control every criminal activity, making arrangements with gangs of all outlaws. As an extreme measure, the city's government has assigned special powers to private agencies, making legal the use of battle clones. Their mission, clean up the city from crime and restore order at any cost. Woo! Weird sound effects. Valhalla Agency Headquarters. Woo, flying drone. Everything is ready, Director. The operator will open radio contact with the squad as soon as you're ready. Alpha T, can you hear me? I've analyzed the area. I suggest you deploy at the edge of District 756. The lab is located in the northern area, but it'll be well defended. Watch out. Remember the mission objective. Find the virus before it's synthesized and put on the black market as a bacteriological weapon. I'll stay in touch via radio. Good luck. Good luck, indeed. 
loading. You can upgrade the weapons, combat shield and cyber cipher deck of each agent. You can also boost their strength by giving them new cyber limbs. Woo! Yep, that's glitching. Headquarters, did you receive the images? Director, can you hear me? If yes, select. Okay. Yeah, we need a tutorial. Good. The line has been established correctly. The squad is ready and waiting for your orders. I will follow the agents closely to give them support. But enough talk. The game is on. The squad needs to stick together. Splitting up could be fatal. Here's a list of commands you can give them. Move. Rotate, look around. Cool! Let's go and remember the main commands. I'm trying to go sideways. Or backwards. Okay, how? Oh, with the mouse wheel. Alright. Got a rookie. I've got infiltrator. Yeah. Wait, infiltrator, soldier, and. Splicer or splicer. Okay. I will switch off the bobbing most likely, but the turning is actually ambush? What the critical hit. I was critted! What the that, that's a lot of glitching. Okay, do we? The city streets are dangerous. Gangs of criminals often try to stop agents, but don't worry, I'll explain how to deal with them. When you get close to an enemy squad, combat begins. The time timeline shows the action order. Each character will act based on their initiative. In the top middle of the screen you can find useful tips. Okay. During combat, you'll need to use your agent's skills. Select a skill with 1, 2, 3, 4. Select the target and press left mouse button to shoot. Hold the skill button to see info about it. You don't need to hold, you just need to hover over. Maybe I, if I would holding number 1, for example. Accurate shot, blast, death shot, and torment. Okay, what's the highest damage? Duration of 3... Bones damage versus marked. How do I mark? Damage. 251, 108, 128. Okay. Oh, and I can aim at them. Yikes. What is this? XCOM? Fallout? Good chance, five, plus 5%. Five percent chance for attack minus 10. Okay. Uh -huh. Initiative. I think I obliterated him. Okay, now... Mouse. Ne neural stimulator. Defense skill. Squad. Initiative plus 100. Okay. Regen, purification tech, removes all debuffs, okay, cheap shots. Looks like some crappy arm, uh, tech power. Okay, and now you, single shot, stunning shot, barrier and conflagrate. No, oh, he's dying, oh nice. Can I spare him? I don't know, can I? Let's spare him. Oh no, I misclicked. <laughs> that was a great fight. But remember, oh, thank you. Never to underestimate your enemies. It could be fatal. And we've got a mini map. Very nice. So what's this? We found an RAM resource module. A collection of resources dropped by the enemy you defeated. You can acquire interesting stuff by picking them up. All right, so basically standard loot. 
That's not an elevator. I don't like that. It looked like an entrance that I couldn't get into, even interact with. You can check the mission object that's here. Remember to check it from time to time. It will change during the mission. So, the above. Alright. Cannot interact with any of the items. So it may end up to be a very nice looking game, but with very... With, it's, those are might be just looks. Please wait. Approaching area. This is the mission map. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, ah, can I leave notes on it? I cannot leave notes on it. I need to go that way. What is this? No clue. It is still... Why is there a visual basic on... Uh, on, 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 not Visual Basic, uh, Visual Studio running. It's 2099 and they are still using Visual Studio. What the? Wait a sec. Four lines, two green lines there. That is the same freaking code. Are they both well, revising the same thing or was the What's his name? A cheapskate. And decided to go only with the same screenshot for for, for for the computer. Wow. Try to hack. Closed doors can be opened in various ways. Some require magnetic keys and others need you to find and activate a terminal. In any case, all closed doors can be hacked. Select, select an agent and try hacking it first. Okay. Open the door, rotate logic disks and match these the shapes. If to act quickly, the door has a time security system. If the timer goes off, you'll fail the hack. Okay. Wait, how do I rotate? Uh. Okay. I see, okay. Ah! I need to press mouse button. Good that I've read at the bottom. Hey, there's somebody. Can I quick save? Options, controls. Oh, nice. Button mode? Yeah, no. Doors can be reopened. Spinner. Click to engage. Ambush. Even enemies can be hacked. Everyone nowadays has, co has one or more cyber implants. They that can be breached. Use the right mouse button to access special actions list. Try to hack the enemy system. Open Squad shield recharge sheets. Shield. Use drugs. Use drugs. Okay. Combat hacking. Okay. Beholder V5 1.0 offense. Beacon V2. Uh, minus 70% damage. That's cool. Resistance to mark effect. Okay. Resistance to debuffs. I to collect data. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, so I collect the data on the enemy itself. Okay. Perfect. Hacking an enemy is a good strategy, but remember to check your agent's battery. It's a precious resource. Nice. Okay. 
Now I can do an accurate shot, maybe. Torment. That was a critical hit. Credits, tech, ascent, generation 1, 8 kilobits, oracle edge, generation 3. Probably just some fancy names. I think that was a battery recharge. The door is protected by an advanced mechanism. I can open it, but it's going to take some time. In the meantime, try using the scanner to search the area for devices to extra SPUs, shared processor units from. Lift shift to scan the area. There it is. Device we can loot. Try extracting the SPU. Where? Where? Here? SP is mounted. You have like 44%, so I guess. Just start to extract the SPS from the device. SPS are versatile processors that can install in your agent's equipment in order to get the bonuses and powers. Okay? You're extracting SPUs from a device. In the right panel, you can find the SPU stats. Okay? To extract an SPU, you need to cut the connector, pushing enter on the SPU's panel with the right, right timing. What? Pay attention to the device temperature. If it reaches maximum, the device will melt and the SPU will be burned. Okay. Start. I failed. Okay. That's so weird. Great, you extracted the SPUs. When you will come back to your headquarters, you'll be able to install it. <sighs> okay. Fun, I opened the door. Don't everybody thank me at once. Oops. Warning, my sensors have detected the presence of a bomb. I knew it. This mission is going to end badly. The bomb is active. We need to hurry. I have no idea what that means. Oh, he has two the robo dogs. Oh, there's seven seconds. Yeah. Aria, enemy, enemy, enemy. Okay. All right. Not too good. Enemy, enemy, Aria. Okay, let's try again. Wow! Okay, so it seems that... Ah, it moved now. Okay. I hope that those are down. You're saying? Can you destroy them? I see. Hey, buddy. Seems you lost your bots. Um, shot. This pierces the shield and it will be redirected to hit points. Okay. Missed. Let's not miss any shots. Targets. Target is stunned. Okay. Resist. That's good. It seems that the bomb will blow up anyway. Okay. 
I don't think we stand a chance against him. What's wrong? Shocked. No chance, but we might still make it. Nice. That was a resist. Oh well. Yeah, he has way too many hit points. A stunning shot, no thank you. Yeah, no chance. I don't think we can win this, can we? <gasps> oh, I could have hacked him. I forgot it's an option. Live debuff sh shocks, marks, hacking, base damage, crit hit chance, initiated 5000 hit points. What the? Yeah, yeah, no. Can I destroy that? No, it's gonna blow. Ninety-two percent that I miss. Yay! Feels like XCOM. Hey, we have lost. Mission end. Mission failed. What? No rewards. What the hell? This agent died in battle. I have no idea how else should I win this. Achievement unlocked, the graduate. The day after. Government, building, military, hall. Ah, you finally arrived. Have a seat, please. So you completed the last training mission yesterday. <laughs> Let's you say. Killed. Every agent was killed by the bomb. But you need to know that this mission was a test. It was impossible to beat. Ah. It's a classic Kabayashi Maru situation. The objective is not to beat the scenario, but to put you in a no-win situation and see how you react. And you did great. So starting today, you'll be assigned to a new agency in Sector 451. Well done, Director. Woo! Welcome, Director, Ooh. to your new agency's headquarters. I'm Clarice, your office assistant. Nice to meet you. If you don't mind, we need to fill out a couple of documents before you take office. Uh, logo Valha. Uh, yeah, let's be the A. Um, not a totally not Avengers. Great. Everything will be recorded and sent to the administration department. Now, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you into the agent's quarters. Here you will meet your current agent squad. So we just killed th uh, three guys, just as a test. This is the agency cloning center and I'm Elise de la Croix, a chief of staff. The center is equipped with the most advanced technology in the cloning field. However, it would be great to expand our mutation database. You should learn more about mutations at the research center. Anyway, it's time to get down to brass tracks, director. I will help you cr create your first squad. 
Select Cloned New Agent from the left menu. Please note, every clone will always be slightly different from all the other, uh, others. If you select the same background, the cloning technology is never 100% accurate in reproducing the original subject. If you prefer, you can choose Auto Mode and three basic agents will be created for you. Nah. Reddit's reputation, life, life fine, the fine, tech weak, okay. Clone new agent. Reputation, reputation, juicer, juicy, binary, <laughs> ah, soldier, infiltrator and drifter. Mid-range combat, he has advanced te tactical skills and can provide support to his allies. His equi equipment allows him to absorb large amounts of damage. Great flex, good defensive stats, limited range. Infiltrator. Long range, lethal. In range combat, she has an exceptional aim and her weapons allow her to perform deadly attacks. She has enhanced reflexes and is always among the first to act. Physically weak. Uh, the Drifter is an agent trained to support his allies. His skills allow him to increase the stats of, uh, of other agents and he has good knowledge of both hardware and software. Enhancing the strength of allies, very low defense. I go. I personally go with free soldiers. Movement, 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 initiative. The soldiers have terrible initiative. She has enhanced reflexes and is always among the first to act in combat. Infiltrator, initiative 5060. Drifter, 7080. Come on! Ooh, that's a lot of stats. Cypher modal hair. Pinnacle. Granite. Okay. Select. Memory blocks. Outburst dam damage to androids. It's only single targets. Interesting. It's a lot. It's weaker than the single shot. Uh, it has a higher range. Okay. shot what do we what can we do with this um outburst let's go with single shot first oh i can get more so outburst barrier is for the whole squad okay i see Mutations. I can only go with normal DNA. Confirm. Okay, create. Scalabro. Flash Bro. Ew. He looks good. He will be red. I'm, I will not be changing their names because I assume there will be a lot of uh, units that I'll, I will be creating here. So let's start with this. Perfect, your first agent is done. Now we need to clone a second agent. Three agents. Okay. A new agent. Give me an... Um, yeah, it seems I, need, I have to have one of each. Um... You wait, what? First to act. Accurate shot, blast. Death shot, torment, death mark. I want um wait what? Accurate aim, okay. Self spark. Remove sound okay. So I need this. I need this, I need that. I don't think I want Blast to go 
Vapor's AoE. Enemies hit, enemies hit become contaminated by radiation and take 10% of damage per turn. Okay. Accurate aim. Thank you. Normal DNA clone. Yeah, 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 skip. Diandra. Oh. Let's have a party of devils first. One more agent. The drifter. He is support. He should have at least one attack, but this shouldn't be his first ability. Electrocute sounds good. I uh, we already have a death mark. Nah. I think electrocute sounds the best here. Base damage plus 25%. Remove radiation. Remove sh What? Separate ones? We had a different one on, on the test scenario. Whatever. Back to the main office. The quarters are where your agents, agents hang out between missions. You can inspect their weakness and strong points, train them or install cyber limbs on their bodies. Hey, it looks so weird. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, or that's re reorder customization. Ah, oh. Actually, no. You will get the purple. Nice. You will get. You will be the um, razor dude. And rookie, the soldier, yeah, he should he should stay red, red red, not red orange. Uh, rank. <laughs> There's a lot of ranks. Inspect agent. It's all of the stats. What? Wait. Now to do inspect stats. Memory blocks. DNA's. Upgrades locked. Here, upgrades locked, of course. The game has not taught me about those yet. Wait, what? Manage SPU. Change skill. Ah, so I can change. It doesn't cost anything. Okay. Good. Ah, manage SPUs. You don't have any SPUs. Of course I don't, because I have failed the mission, right? Retire rank. Okay. Right click. No other implants. All right. Uh, cancel. Cloning center. That's. Well, we can clone more. I don't. I will not be doing that. Research center. Pleased to meet you, director. I'm Nalesa Harris, the agency's head of research and, and development. I'm looking forward to working with you. Feel free to ask me about anything you need, and my team and I will work night and day to make it happen. But for now, let me show you the research center. It is divided into five different sections. Each section allows you to improve a specific technology for your agency. Please take a closer look at one of the sections, and I will explain how research works. Cloning tech. This is one of five sectors. You can find research tree here. Select one of items on the diagram to start new research. Requires credits and tech. We've got those and time. Also, to develop an, an advanced research, you need to complete before the previous research is as requirement. Yeah, of course. Healing. Reputation, yikes. Everywhere where I click, it's 10 re reputation. Oh. I'm 
military tech. Okay, let's go with healing for now. If we will be leveling up or upgrading our agents, healing might be actually the most useful one. Now you can heal your agent's wounds. Fascinating note. What a reputation for that. New research area available. Oh, okay. What about you? Ah. Yeah, it's all about those ticks. Health Center. Good morning, Director. I'm Dr. Ryan O'Flanagan, head physician. I'm in charge at the Health Center, where you can bring wounded agents. The center is operational and ready. Remember to bring your wounded agents here and we'll take good care of them. You can expand and improve our technology using the research center. Regeneration tanks. Alpha, beta, gamma. Okay. Oh, a detox tanks. Cyber graveyard. Director, this is the cyber graveyard where you will find the retired agents. Let's see. Graveyard and retired. I don't think they are like the same meaning. Okay, nothing here. Director's office. Hey, that's my office. You will receive communications and news about your agency and its staff here. On the left you can find a list of agency perks that's a current status overview. The most common way to improve these values is by increasing your reputation, but there might be other ways too. Okay. Archive. I'm the collector, the librarian and archivist of your agency. I'm here to collect and catalog information for you. Scattered around conglomerate city, your agents can find strange items called echoes. They are fragments of memories from the past. Feel free to bring them to me. I'll decrypt them for you, revealing the secrets they contain. Cool. And I guess, do I save? I don't think I save. I guess it auto saves after everything. Anywho, for now, this will be all. It's a start to a, to a new let's play, so not much action going on today. But hopefully, we'll jump into action very soon. So, thank you for watching. Hope you are looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to play a good game, or at least a pretty decently playable blind play, like, like this. And see you in the next video. Take care.